six ways to build wealth without the stock market. Hello, welcome to Women's Financial Empowerment Group. I'm your host, Ruth Agbeloso. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If this is your first time, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. If you've been here before, thank you so much for supporting my channel and coming back. Please go ahead and like, share, do all those wonderful things, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I upload a new video. On this channel, I talk about all things money, money mindset, making money, saving money, and investing money and more. So you're going to want to come back over and over to hear what I have in store for you. If you want to hear more about me and what I do, stick with me to the end of the video and I'll share that information with you. Let's get into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you six ways to build wealth without the stock market. Now, as a financial coach, I speak to so many women about building wealth. As a matter of fact, that's what I help women do, build their wealth so they can leave a legacy for their children. And as I'm speaking to women, a lot of women feel apprehensive about investing in the stock market. But I can tell you this much that I will always recommend it as my top pick for building wealth. I really believe that investing in the stock market is a great idea because you can start off with little money and you can really grow your wealth over time. So I really love it. It has definitely helped me to be able to have a down payment for a home when I was much younger and just keep on building my wealth. So that's why I recommend it so much, but I understand that some people are apprehensive because of the volatility of the market. There's a lot of uncertainty about what's going on with politics and other things that affect the market. So some people just feel like, wow, they don't wanna lose their money. I do have a video about common mistakes that beginners make, and I will link that video. But like I said before, it's definitely your choice what you want to do. I believe that personal finances is personal. You get to decide how you're going to build your wealth and how you're going to maintain your wealth and all that stuff. All I do is help people get to where they want to go with their finances. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and share, but I also need to mention for those of you who are kind of on the fence with investing, I do have a book about that, an ebook, and I will link that below. It's my ebook that I wrote a couple of years ago. So check out that ebook and it will give you some encouragement for a beginner wanting to start in the investing world or in this investing in the stock market also mumu trading is a new platform that i've started using and i've talked about them on this channel before you might want to check them out and see if they'd be a good fit for you they're not the only platform that i use for investing i also use acorns and some other ones and i've linked them as well so check them out and see if any of them fits your style definitely great to get your feet wet as an investor especially since you don't have to put a whole lot of money in at first so like i said let's get into the six ways that you can build wealth without the stock market now the first one i'm going to mention and these are in no particular order is real estate because real estate is so popular real estate investing is so popular i wanted to mention them first now there are different ways to invest in real estate these days it's very popular to have an airbnb so you own a home or you rent a home or something like that and you rent it out temporarily and the reason why it's so popular is because you can make a lot of money on temporary housing so that's why it has such a big appeal but there are so many other ways that you can invest in real estate another way is the traditional way of owning a home and renting out part of it or renting out the whole thing that's definitely a way that some uh, lots of people have built wealth doing that there's also people who fix and flip or wholesale and like i said there's so many different ways there's also ways that you can invest in real estate without owning property and if you want to know more about that if you want me to do a video about that please leave a comment in the comment section and then i will share a video about that because that's something that a lot of people who don't want to own property want to know how can I get into the real estate investing space without actually owning property? So if you're interested, leave a comment and I will do a video on that. Number two, multi-level marketing. 
I know MLMs get such a bad rep, but honestly, I know a lot of people who have made tons of money through MLMs. It, back in the days, I did a couple of them. One of them was Avon, another one was Primerica. I was able to grow my wealth that way. I didn't stick with any of those because for me, they weren't a long-term thing, but I highly recommend MLM marketing if it's something that you don't wanna create a business from scratch. You want to just go along with someone else's system and make money without having like a brick and mortar and all that stuff. People have made tons of money, so don't knock it <laughs> until you've tried it. I remember even as a child, there was Tupperware and going to some Tupperware parties. My mom bought a lot of Tupperware and it was a big deal. So again, it's something where you can make a lot of money, but of course, if you don't put in the work, don't put in the effort, then you won't make the kind of money that you'd really be growing your wealth. Number three, franchises. This is an, another thing that I've looked into in the past. I, I haven't really signed on to one yet, but it's definitely on my radar. When you think about franchises, you might think about McDonald's or Burger King or Five Guys, but there are so many other franchises out there and it doesn't require you a whole lot of money to get started with some of them. Of course, with McDonald's and Burger King, yes, you will have to put down a pretty hefty penny. As a matter of fact, when I looked into McDonald's, not only would you have to have a lot of cash up front, but you also have to have a very high net worth in order to be able to even start with them. Um, most franchises have a training period that you have to go through, but like I said, it's a wide range. There are some that have a lesser amount that you have to put in, and they're not all about food. So there's so many different ones. There's cleaning, there's daycare, there's caregiving, there's, there's so many out there. So do your research and see which one kind of fits your personality, fits where you are financially and different things like that. But it can definitely be a great way to build your wealth. Number four, and I think this is kind of my favorite or one of my favorites is making money online. So having an online business. You can sell goods or services from the comfort of your home. That is an awesome thing for us as moms because a lot of times we don't wanna lose that time with our children by going out and doing extra things. But being able to make money online at home, you can definitely grow your wealth and it can be less stressful. Obviously, it depends on what you decide to do and your success with it depends on how hard you work at it, depending on what it is. So there's so many different ways that you can build your wealth just by having an online business. And even though I don't necessarily have an online business, but I do work online providing coaching services and sometimes workshops just from the comfort of my home. And like I said before, I also have an ebook. I have actually more a few books online right now through Amazon and otherwise that you can purchase. So yeah, working online, having an online business is definitely a way that you can build your wealth. The fifth one is through life insurance. I mentioned this one because this is one that I'm hearing time and time again. It's something that a lot of people are talking about, a lot of people are curious about. Yes, I believe that you can build your wealth through using the cash value of some policies, but there's some caveats in there, some things to look out for. You definitely want to do your research so you don't end up in a scammy situation. You definitely want to make sure that you're not losing your money trying to do this and you know, know what you're doing. And also, I would caution you to be careful of fees. Some of these companies can have so many fees that it's really not even worth it to work with them. And it also depends on how much money you have to get started and things like that. So do your research so you can find out what it is all about before you get into it. At least with everything, I would recommend do your research. You don't want to go in blind in any situation. And the last one that I want to mention is affiliate marketing. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, I guess I have a few favorites when it comes to building my wealth, but affiliate marketing I feel is one of my favorites because it requires very little effort. Honestly, when I talk about Mumu Trading or if I talk about a certain book that I really like that's sold on Amazon, I get a few pennies every time when 
well, let me not say a few pennies, <laughs> but I get a little money um, if you buy through my link and that helps to support my family. That helps me grow my wealth. And you know, there's not a whole lot of effort required. You just have to make sure that you share your link and tell people about it so that they'll know that they can click on your link and they don't have to pay anything extra by clicking on your link, but the company incentivizes you every time when they click on your link. So I really believe that that's a great way to build your wealth. If you don't have your own YouTube channel, you could definitely share links on your Facebook uh, posts or Instagram or Twitter or whatever other platforms there are out there. You can share links and make money that way. And there's different ways that you can finagle it and make more money. I tell you, there's so many options out there. So these are just six of the ways that you can build wealth without the stock market. Again, I always recommend the stock market as a great way to build wealth, but I totally understand if you either are anxious about that or you want other ways other than the stock market. I definitely believe in not putting all of my eggs in one basket. So kudos to you for finding other ways to build your wealth. I hope you found this helpful. I am a financial coach, like I mentioned before, and I work with high achieving moms to manage their money better so that they can build wealth and leave a legacy for their children. So if you are a high achieving mom and you need some help managing your finances, see my link in the description and apply to see whether or not we'd be a good fit to work together. Thank you again for watching, liking and sharing and subscribing. And remember, change your mind, change your pocketbook. See you in the next video.